Hi there, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well, so if you could please introduce yourself for us, give us your name, uh, your title, a short bio about yourself, your credentials, and then when you're done with all that, can you please state the title of the article that we'll be talking about today? Sure, hi. Um, so my name is Julie Resendiz, and my uh, credentials, I received my bachelor's degree and then my master's degree from UMass Dartmouth, and uh, I'm currently a student in a doctoral program at University of Rhode Island, and I'm planning to graduate this May. I teach undergraduate nursing students at a local community college, and I also work per diem at a local hospital in the intensive care setting. And my article title is The Nurse's Role in Advanced Care Planning. Fantastic. So could you please briefly give us an overview of why nurses should read this article? Sure, sure. Um, so I think both new nurses and experienced nurses should read this article and know that they can initiate and have advanced care planning conversations with patients. These conversations allow people to share their goals and their preferences regarding future healthcare. And since nurses are the discipline that spend really the most time with patients, they can educate and answer questions that patients might have about advanced directives. And these directives are critical to allow patients to share their wishes uh, related to future healthcare. Awesome. Uh, could you please tell us what made you want to write an article on this specific topic? Was there was there a moment that you just sort of were like, yes, this is why I want to write this? Uh, many moments, I would say. Over my 25 plus years as a bedside nurse, I've witnessed many situations in which patients or family members uh, really have to make dis really difficult decisions related to serious illness or end of life care. And when facing illness or hospitalization, patients are really fearful and stressed. Uh, this is not a great time to start this conversation surrounding these difficult decisions. So when people have time to con discuss and consider and understand their choices, they will ultimately be more prepared when actually facing these serious illness care decisions. So with, with such an important topic, obviously there's a lot that nurses can take away from an article like this, but if you wanted them to remember two to three things specifically uh, that are the most important that you want them to, to be like, yes, this is exactly what I want you to take away from this, what would those two to three things be? Um, well, first I want nurses to understand what advanced directives are and that they are legal documents, but they do not require a lawyer to complete them. Advanced directives differ by title and by requirements in each state, so nurses really uh, have to learn or understand the laws surrounding advanced directives in the state in which they practice. The two types of advanced directives I would say is really important to know, uh, the living will and the durable power of attorney for health care. So the living will is the written document that details the treatments that you would and would not want. And the durable power of attorney for health care is the document <clears throat> in which you name that person that you trust to make health care decisions for you, uh, for when you cannot make them or communicate them for yourself. So remembering that these advanced directives are only relied upon when people cannot express their decisions for themselves. Uh, lastly, uh, the Conversation Project is a resource for healthcare workers and for the public, and you can access this website and find free videos and guides to help you initiate these conversations. And National Healthcare Decisions Day is April 16th, and this is a great time to think about your healthcare preferences, discuss these goals with your family and your healthcare provider, and complete an advanced directive. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for writing this article and sitting down with me to talk about it today. Thank you, thank you for having me.